Tessa and I have been on a mini holiday and I came back feeling totally recharged. It was wonderful. Tessa had a ball. Well, it was compliments of my daughter and my granddaughter. They picked me up here at Hepburn House where I live with my husband and basically I spent a fair bit of time caring for him and we left him with the carer staff in our assisted living aged care which is where we live. <laughs> I've got a beautiful studio here. I live fairly independently here and my husband has his room just opposite me. Really two carer staff help him whenever he gets up and uh, well it's a combined effort. I sit with him a lot and uh, assist him. But I had a break and I don't think I've had a, a break for a couple of years. As much as I love him, it did me the world of good. And Tessa, she just loves my daughter and my granddaughter. I had a little spell in hospital of less than a week, uh, early May, and she went to stay with them and she hasn't forgotten. She's still a puppy, she's six months old. So she just followed my daughter around. She had a wonderful time. The little cottage we stayed at, Laurel Cottage, and it, it was at Malden. It was just wonderful. And it was fully enclosed backyard and she could run around in it. A lovely cottage that was built by a Welshman who made his fortune back in well, 18, 18, mid 1800s and they, the cottage is still as it was, the beautiful roaming gardens, all, I'm a gardener at heart and it had all those lovely old world plants that I adore in it, an enormous uh, Daphne in bloom that must have been there for several generations, it was so large and in full flower, uh, it was a wonderful experience for me. So Tessa sat around in the lounge room near the open fireplace and the family. And yeah, well, I'm just so fully recharged. So I came back feeling so much healthier and recharged. Um, I started clearing out my room again, changing it around. I moved the bed from fairly central in the room right onto the wall to turn it into like a divan bed to make this room look far more like an art studio rather than combined bed sit room studio it's uh, got far more of a feel of art studio I've got my indoor garden I extended so there's a lot more of it I've got more art supplies out uh, it makes me feel so good and I'm really revved up to get back to, to vlogging and producing art tutorials for my patrons and yeah, just so looking forward to the future. And as for Tessa, well, I think she's still on a high. She She's actually loving the renovation of the room, more room to play ball in my room. And she loves playing ball with my husband in his room. And yeah, she, she just came home, a very, very happy young dog. Now I had wonderful Women's Day fun with my adult granddaughter, my daughter and myself. We sat around and painted fingernails, which is quite foreign to me. I'm not a glamour puss. <laughs> and we went to the um, local pub for a nice meal at night. Uh, we went out for a brunch and we walked all around the old town. We went to the chocolate mill, an old fashioned lolly shop to buy birthday presents for my husband. He's a sweet tooth. And the whole town is kept very much like it was a century and a half ago. Some of these old buildings are still there. I just can't believe what we packed into that short amount of time. Now, one of the things that I had taken with me to give to my granddaughter was a light that I had just purchased. It was from one of these um, GoFundMe sites where people ask people to sponsor them with money so that they can create some new product and it was a light that was designed to clip onto your computer 
that was supposed to be flattering <laughs> and make somebody like me look glamorous. <laughs> I thought it was a bit of a joke, actually, that a light is going to make you look fabulous. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with the way I look, by the way. <laughs> I'm 75. Um, still got it up there. <laughs> so that's all that I care about. <laughs> anyway, I took this light, my daughter's granddaughter is a school teacher and of course with the COVID-19 situation she's doing a lot of tutoring from home and I took the light to her I thought she might like it as long as she wasn't offended by the fact that the light was designed to make you look beautiful because she is already quite beautiful I'll do a portrait of her one day and show it here uh, anyway I didn't feel that I needed to worry about this light if I could give it to somebody younger who uh, might actually appreciate a light that's a little bit more flattering. Uh, I just want good strong light so that I can paint well. <laughs> I like good strong light for my painting which I, you know, have it shining down. I use daylight lighting, but not necessarily the most flattering for people, but it's the best one to see your art with. Quite happy to answer any questions. Uh, about the sort of lighting setup that I have or filming or what have you. At the moment I have been filming looking straight down and I'm going to change a lot more to a vlogging style this year coming and I'm thinking of putting my work back on a slope board like I always used or a slanted easel rather than painting straight down as I have been doing for the last three and a half years when I was doing all these YouTube tutorials which are now predominantly on my Patreon side. So I'm going to change a lot of things. I've changed my room around to make it more studio. I'm going to talk more to you, um, talk about my life um, as a travelling artist, as a professional artist, pass on that sort of art tips from a professional life as an artist. And uh, also I was grey nomad, a travel writer traveled all around Australia and overseas, <laughs> went to California, did a lot of commissioned work over there, including painting in Yosemite National Park, which was one of the highlights of my career, um, painting the Sahara Islands um, in the Central Pacific, just had a wonderful career as an artist and a lot of wonderful times, experiences, and so happy to chat about any of those things uh, that you indicate that you're interested in. My patrons um, basically let me know. Um, they can answer questions, suggest topics that I might like to talk about or demonstrate. Uh, I'm just loving my work now. Uh, I've always loved my career as an artist and author. It's uh, been a lot of fun. And I just want to share how much this 25 hours away from my normal routine, spending time with my daughter and granddaughter in this lovely country town has made such a difference to me. Really been a pick-me-up. It's fantastic. Um, if ever you can give somebody who's uh, in doing full-time carer duties a little bit of a spite care, uh, just know how helpful that is. Um, anyway, I turn 75, three quarters of a century. <laughs> In two weeks time so I've set myself seven weeks goals and uh, from there I'm setting myself 10 year goals for my future whatever I'm going to go and YouTube will be a part of that but different to what I did before I spent three and a half years doing tutorials on YouTube and I saw my subscriber count go up over 10,000 but because I did such varied work I mean one moment I'd be doing pastel connect oils and the next um, it would be pen and wash or caricature or fine art and it was sort of like I gained a subscriber because they love this style and then they drop out when they like when I did something different and uh, I ended up with just a couple of thousand subscribers so the way I was doing YouTube was not really working for everybody so I now divided myself up into about four different channels and uh, I put um, all the tutorials going on to Patreon and people could pick and choose from what they like there's there's hundreds of them three and a half years supply of them and now each YouTube channel 
or just focus on a subject, be it flowers or the landscape or my caricature work. And I have got um, basically my Catterday channel, which was the old one that I've always had. And uh, it's not necessarily going to be cats. It's just that I'm putting it out on Catterday. Saturday, if you like. I've got a lot of friends with cats and they call it Catterday. <laughs> so uh, I don't quite know where I'm going with that one and I'm not too worried. I'll just be myself. Please subscribe if you enjoy these author artist vlogs and if you'd like a demonstration tutorial art I've included the painting of my granddaughter for my patrons. So if you look below in the comment section and the description you'll see a link to my Patreon site where you can get the longer video with the demonstration tutorial.